Golf week is officially here, and while a lot of people will be at Augusta National, others will be out simply playing golf at various courses throughout the CSRA. Now, most people know the ins and outs of golf, but there may be some experiencing it for the first time, so there's no better time than to talk golf etiquette than now. With us to do that is Jason Page. He is owner of Bartram Trail Golf Club, and he joins us here in the next studio this morning. Jason, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Uh, so let's just talk about this. There are do's and don'ts. When it comes to being out on the course, what are some of like some of the obvious ones? Well, some of the obvious ones is obviously show up on time for your tee time, a few minutes early. Um, most people want to hit a bucket of balls or grab a grab a beverage or, or what. So that's really the most important thing: show up on time and just keep pace of play. And when it comes to the dress attire, let's talk about kind of the do's and don'ts of that, and also golf shoes. Golf shoes. I mean, we're here. You're here out of town. You're probably not going to want to pack an extra set of golf shoes. Just anything comfortable. I mean, we have a we have good good traction at go, at Bartram. I mean, we're not really uh, we're, we've dried out a little bit. So just something comfortable that you can pack and and bring with you. That that would be sufficient. And as far as the attire itself, the attire. Yeah, it's, we're you know we are a public course, uh, semi-private with membership. But you know, collar shirt is 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 required. Um, We've seen a lot, especially Masters Week, but just collar shirt, the hoodies are now a good thing and, and they're acceptable, but just we want you here comfortable and have a good time. Okay, no swimsuits, please. Not on the course, thank you. <laughs> uh, I mean, we're sure a lot of people plan on heading out to the course this week. When, with that said, it's important to get through each hole as quickly as possible, right? Yeah, I mean, you're not going to set a, you're not going to break the course record, you know, on, on a trip like this. I'm um, sorry, you're talking directly to me? Yes. Because that is the case. <laughs> All right. Most people don't even need to pack clubs. I mean, we, we order in our rental sets for the week, and uh, our rental sets are, are just as nice as my club. So um, we've gotten that taken care of. Um, just keep, 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 having, keep having fun is really the main thing we want to do. Um, and we're, we're set up at Bartram where our greens are good, our tees are good, and um, we just want you to come have a good time. And that's probably really beneficial when you have clubs already available because a lot of people oh, yeah. are flying in. And checking in clubs, That's you know, it's checking, just yeah. another costly thing. Let's talk about golf carts and the paths people should follow and maybe avoid doing. You know, unfortunately, there are a couple of spots at Bartram that get wet, but we're dried out pretty well. Um, even after a good rain, you know, we're only one or two holes or cart path only. Um, we've just gotten brand new carts from Easy Go, and we have the, the GPS is on the cart, so they kind of keep you in line as far as where you need to go and where you can't go. Um, they also have a range finder on it. So, I mean, we have all the bases covered. So now, uh, when is it okay to say cutting across the course, so to speak? C cutting across the course, <laughs> uh, you know, that's not completely, you know, guarded against, but we don't mind it. I mean, we just, the, the golf carts are made to drive across the grass, you know, drive across the grass. Uh, somebody actually brought up something before mm -hmm. that people, when they're going on the course, whether it's semi-private, public, uh, there are people that will bring actually music out now, and will do that. Oh, now, what's the what's the what's the over and under on that? Well, the, the good thing about Bartram is we have you know five par threes and five par fives, which is a little unique. So we are s separated from the rest of the crowd. So you could actually bring your speaker out blare it as loud or as comfortable as you want to and you won't really affect the, the guy next door. But uh, most golf courses, you know, try to want to keep it down. You just want to hear it in your cart. You don't want to hear it three holes over. Exactly. Okay, well that's uh, good to know. Y'all are having a fun time over there at Bartram, it sounds yeah. like. <laughs> you said blare it as loud as you want. They're not going to hear you over there. That's right. <laughs> All right, Jason, we appreciate you so much. And if you are headed out to the course, have a great time. Be safe out there. Look up, okay? There's going to be a lot of golf balls flying oh, everywhere. Oh, yeah. yeah so Check out Bartram. Jason, thanks Thank a lot. Thank you. Appreciate it. it.